Paul Butler, Chief Executive in the North East Automotive Alliance, and we're here at the Horton Academy where we're donating £2,000 as part of our efforts to support STEM education in the North East. The schools are fantastic beneficiaries for our award winners at the annual awards dinner. Uh, £2,000 to a company is uh, quite often seen as a, a small drop in the ocean, but £2,000 to a school to support STEM is fantastic and it links our industry to education, which is really important when we're looking at how we attract people into the North East automotive uh, sector. I'm Nathan McCoy. I am Quality Manager at Ford Aerospace in South Shields. I think as a business, we can inspire um, our students by offering them opportunities to have a look around our site, interact with them, show them what engineering is all about um, and inspire them for the future. Harton Academy was our choice for the prize because they've got a really, really great um, engineering academy. They work towards developing STEM topics and their STEM projects are amazing. So a really, really worthy cause. I'm Kirsty Morgan. I'm a deputy head teacher here at Harton. I'm also a biology teacher, so I have a, a large sort of investment in our STEM club. I think for a long time we've recognised that in terms of future prospects for our students, you know, STEM in industry is absolutely huge. We have a really successful record of results at heart and enthusiasm for science. You know, we run the separate sciences every year and it's a very successful course. Our A level numbers are large as well. So I think in terms of future prospects for a lot of our students, the STEM subjects are a way to go. The traditional education routes, we are well equipped to help our, our students engage with that. But the apprentice sides of things are something that we really, really need to develop. And I think Ford would be an excellent company to work with going forward. To me, obviously, I was the former head of science before I, I took up my role in senior leadership. Um, and I'm always conscious that budgets are very tight in schools, you know, and we would love to give the kids in science club the opportunity to do things and go places that currently our budgets just wouldn't allow us to do. The students genuinely love everything that Mr Ledbetter has done with them over the past year and what this money's going to mean is that those opportunities are just going to grow. The kit that he would like to buy in, the places he would like to take them are now going to be accessible to those students. We've very much in terms of the club itself gone along the science route with maths involvement. We want to buy some kits, we want to buy some robotics kits and things like that so that the kids can see more of the engineering side of things and we will have our own kits in science to enable them to do that. But what we're also keen to do is get the kids out of school. You know, things like we, it would be lovely to do a rewards trip at Christmas, you know, somewhere like the Centre for Life. It might even be that if we can engage with Ford, we could do a little visit potentially to some of their premises and the money will allow us the freedom to do that.